All right, all right. So it's time to rip this thing up. And the first thing we're going to do is find out who wins their way into the box and gets three spots. So there's a lot on the line here. It's three whole spots. That's three packs. That is three packs, bro. To the winner. Uh, where's the randomizer? Oh, where's the race? Okay, here it is. Got lost there for a minute. If you don't get lost on this racetrack, here we go. Winner take all. Lucky number seven. On your mark, get set. Go. Bombs away is out front. There's Nick. Nick's got the lead. Watch out for Jason. He's been on fire. Three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it. That man is on fire tonight. What in the world? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow all right so congratulations that's three spots for you in this thing right here <laughs> and uh well moving, moving right along let's start up the random so when you get spots in this we simply uh random which pack you get we random the order of which we open your pack and so we also shuffle the pack, the packs, and or the packs just come out in no particular order. Once you know that, we we will shuffle them. They'll be out of order somehow or whatever. It is completely random. Let's see what what happens here in this race, or in this this uh, random. Seven times through. If your name comes up number one, you get the top, the top pack, the first pack. If your name comes up in the last ten spot, you get the last pack. Lucky number seven. Okay, Troy C. Let's see what happens. Well, I hope we get one of these number to 10 kind of parallels or something really big out of here. Good luck. Here we go. Let's pull something. Even some of the ones number to 100 I've seen go for a couple hundred dollars out of here. So any numbered parallel. The last two boxes didn't have a parallel. A numbered parallel. No number parallel. The last two boxes. I really think we're due. I think we're due for, for some kind of nicer hit here because... Last two, they've had some good things in the last two, but nothing incredible. Well, there was a few Incredibles because that's one of the movies featured is the Incredibles. I can't say there wasn't any any Incredibles, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Here's our 10 right here. Let's do a little shuffly duffly do. And, uh, well, this will go to random. So everybody's going to have a shot at the slabbed item in the box break. But this is pack number one. This is Troy C's pack.
Lots of silver. And there is a regular basie. Basie. I'm always looking for these numbers. The number is always on the back. Uh, if it's a nice parallel, you'll see the number on the back in the center. And I don't know the language at all. I mean, I don't. Uh, most of us probably don't. I don't know what that says. These are celebrating like the Oscars and stuff and the nominated films. So it's it's pretty neat. They're, they're celebrating like the voice actors are celebrating the characters, are celebrating just the production of the movies and the awards of the movies. Oscar nominations. This is pack number two, and this, this one's for Troy C. as well. Okay, so nice going, Troy C. You got the Wally and Eve. And the other one there, Russell. And the, the other one. So that's good stuff for you, my friend. Jason T., This is one of the special inserts called um, Movie Quotes. And there's a quote on the back of this. We have a Rex down there. Here's a movie quote. Thank you for the adventure. Now go have a new one. Love, Ellie. Okay. All right. Cool. Did someone just hit a home run in the Rangers Orioles game? I can hear the crowd going nuts. So it must be the Rangers. Because they're in Texas. Okay, nice one there. Toy Story. We got that postseason baseball going on. I hope you hit something big in Disney. There's a silver Remy, Arturo. And a ham. Number five, Jason T. Joe Gardner Silver. Oh, you got the checklist card. And I don't turn these over because there is like a little code on the back of the checklist card. I don't know all about those. There is a code on the back for some reason. It's like one of those QR codes, you know. What's going on with this? Okay, they, they put a bunch of trademark stuff up here. So I guess in order to have these featured, they had to have all the trademarks. And that's I haven't seen that on any other cards. All the trademark stuff. So that's cool. Nice going. Congratulations, Jason. Oh, 
from the movie Inside Out, which I have not seen. It looks like I'm going to have to see this movie. I'm going to have to see this now. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, looking at the characters going, what's the story here? It looks interesting. And so that's pretty neat. Oh, what is this? It's a Russell... Arturo. Number seven. Nice slinky dog. We've seen the ham come out three times in this box break. Keep hitting the hams. And there's all that trademark stuff for this slinky dog. So I guess it's not alone, not uh, not unique to just the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. A few of these cars do have special trademarks. I wonder if that's because this was a toy, a real toy that we've seen, you know, out on the market. Because Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, it's been around for 50 years. And this looks like one of those toys, too. It's been around for 50 years. And it's so iconic that they had to do all the trademarks. So anyway, really cool. Toy Stories, great movies right there. Moving right along, we have pack number seven. Silver Lotso. It's got little strawberries running around all, all over the place in there. Starfish. I don't know what those are. Nemo and Dory. Okay. Okay. Come on, big parallel, big hit, Boulevard. Let's get it. Nice silver Nemo. Jason T. Got a Hank. Okay, no, no number on this one. We need to see the black parallel. That's another one of these same, same bordering things, those little circular things. I guess they're maybe look like oranges to me. I don't know. We got the starfish. Okay, there's a Hank. Final pack in the break. Troy C, let's do it. Let's do it, Troy C. Good luck, everyone, getting the slabbed hit. I'm going to do a random for that in a minute, but first, let's pull Troy C, a monster hit. What is this? Okay. All right. Special moment there in the movie. Congrats, Troy C. And a lot so. So we had a bunch of hams. We had strawberries everywhere with lots of. Okay. Nice going. Congratulations. Here it is. And we're going to start the random. So the winner is going to come up after uh, 10. We're going to random the owner names 10 times, see who gets this. This thing. It's a film cell. Oh, from Finding Nemo. And it's a Nemo. Okay. Nice. It's got Egypt up there. I've seen it have different places. So I wonder if that's significant that it has Egypt. It's like last time I think it said Paris on a different one. Nice film cell. 
All right, who's going to get this? Let's see, let's see what, what happens. You can just see the part in the movie that's being shown, represented, and everything right there. I don't know that part. Okay, seven times through. Good luck. Ho! Where is it? Topless after seven. Lucky number seven. Jason T. The luckiest person I know. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. You won a bunch of races. You won the random. I think you got in the break for one filler spot. You take down the race. You take down the the spots from the race. Now you got the film cell. You're so lucky. Congratulations. To you, my man. Way to go. That's that's what it's all about when you get in some of those races. Sometimes you can get in a race and just hit all kinds of stuff for, for a race spot. Yeah, that is definitely lucky. So we're going to hit uh, some more greatness around here. We're going to pull some kind of fire hit something amazingly nice in our next box break too there is more disney 